Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Priti and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, and this is fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. So this is an energy of somebody who is feeling quite confident. Um, I do see someone who is confident enough to take action, very passionate towards you. This person feels um, a lot of attraction to you, and I do see them making a move. This is someone who is um, pursuing their bliss. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Leo. Okay, so the first card we have is the Queen of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy. Next, we have the Chariots, Cancer Energy, so you could be dealing with a Cancer. And finally, we have the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy. So someone here is definitely coming towards you. With this Ace of Wands, I'm seeing them pursuing you. This is someone who's very attracted to you. Um, they, they definitely do see you as someone who's quite stable, grounded. Um, you know, I do see them also viewing you as someone who's independent, someone who's very focused on their own responsibility, and someone who even holds themselves in high regard. And this person is very attractive to them. I do see them. Um, it's like they, they're definitely pursuing you. And with the chariot, um, they could be distance involved but i see this could be someone who's physically coming towards you this person wants to lead this person wants to take control of the situation this person is very much in their masculine energy um i do see them seeing the potential for a victory with you and um i i, I see them having the confidence to go for to go for it so let's clarify these cards leo At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is, again, an energy of someone who's not focusing on, um, I'm seeing someone who's very optimistic. They're approaching you very optimistically. They're not focusing on what could go wrong. They're focusing on the possibilities, the opportunities, and the, there's just this energy of them seizing the moment, seizing the opportunity. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Okay, so next we have the Seven of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy. And finally, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy again. Okay, so this person, I do, I do see this as someone who is also quite protective um, over you. They, there's this energy of feeling like... Um, they really want this they they really want you and um they will fight for you with that seven of wands um with the four of pentacles being in the reverse it's like this is someone who's going to be generous towards you as well very giving i do see them showering you with a lot of affection compliments even um material stuff with this pentacles energy so this is someone who's going to be very generous to you because they see you as very high value with this queen of pentacles energy they see you as somebody who um deserves the finer things so i do see them giving to you you, but also being generous to you in terms of um, honesty, integrity, um, you know, it's like the, there's just this energy of them 
pursuing you with an honest open heart and um again they're going to fight for this connection they want to invest in this um with the ten of pentacles they do see you as an abundant person and um this person, the Knight of Wands in this case, I don't see it as someone who's who's non-committal. This is more so someone who is confident, someone who's going after what they want. Because you have the Ten of Pentacles, this is somebody who is even capable of committing. This is somebody who wants to invest in something with you. They see you as somebody who is worth it. They see you as somebody who um, who has a lot to offer. You're like the ideal person to them. And um, they do want something long-term is what I'm seeing. This is somebody who is making some sort of investment in order to to come towards you it's like um you know they could be um it's like they, they they're putting something in this so um if they're traveling for example they're making quite an investment to come towards you but there's just that's just an example but there's just this energy that this person is making an investment when it comes to you and that's because they see you as very much worth it and they see a long-term potential here they want a happily ever after with you this person is quite ambitious they feel like you're someone who could they could achieve the ten of pentacles with um they definitely see you as an asset okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you um leo Okay, so the card says, what do you need to release? Waning moon. Okay, so I see this as this person releasing doubts because we have the five of cups in the reverse. This is someone who only wants to focus on what could go right. So they're not focusing on any doubts or, um, you know, it's like they're releasing negative thinking when it comes to this. They're very optimistic is what I'm seeing with this person. And this is what's fueling them. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. So the card says honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together okay so this person definitely they could be wanting to take you away in some way or go somewhere with you or travel with you um or this could just be them wanting to um bring a period of bliss to this connection it's this energy of um still seeing you as you know it's like they're still infatuated by you they still see you the way that you would see someone in the honeymoon phase of a relationship they really think highly of you they hold you in high regard okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um leo okay, so the card says sacred lotus enlightenment no mud no lotus so this person is willing to work very hard for you um they see you as worth it i do see them making they're willing to make sacrifices they're willing to invest they see you as you know the ultimate prize and um there's some sort of obstacles that they are overcoming in order to be closer to you or to pursue you and they do this gladly they feel like you're definitely worth it okay so that's what i'm seeing for you um leo i hope you have a really really good day leo bye leo